question. Can a dysfunctional pituitary gland be a cause of male infertility? And are there medications that can treat this, such as Clomid? If, if so, are there tests to diagnose this being the case? Good question. And absolutely. So um, this is the whole reason we test the system at all. So when someone gets a um, abnormal semen analysis, the very next set of tests we do is blood tests looking at the pituitary. And usually from that first set of blood tests, you can decide, do we need to do more specialty testing? Um, so if like LH and FSH are really low, then we're going to figure out, is there a tumor in there causing that? You can treat pituitary dysfunction for sure. Um, Clomid usually doesn't work though. And the reason is your body's naturally trying to get the pituitary to work. And all Clomid does is it just tricks the pituitary into thinking that it needs to produce more. But if the pituitary is the problem, telling it's like if the thermostat's the problem, tricking the thermostat doesn't help it because it's broken, like the thermostat's the issue. Um, but a lot of times we'll find um, what are called pituitary or uh, um, pr uh, prolactinomas or non-secreting adenomas of the pituitary. So um, a prolactinoma is basically a, a tumor in the pituitary that creates prolactin and that shuts down LH and FSH, either from the, the size of the mass or whatever. And that one we can treat with a drug called covergaline. And then there are certain cases where the pituitary just doesn't work at all, either because of prior damage, prior trauma, infections, um, or other unknown reasons. And in those cases, we can just replace LH and FSH. The downside is they're just so darn expensive. And so, you know, you hate to do it if you have to, or you do it if you have to, but you hate to at the time because you know it's going to be about a thousand a month or so for the treatments for it. So. Thank you.